Welcome to Let's Draw Pokemon. Today we're going to be drawing Beedrill, Weedle's final form. So to start we're just going to sketch out the head. Just going to draw this rough cylindrical shape. Uh, Beedrill of course is based off of I think more of like a wasp like uh, body but with a B coloration to him. So he's almost like a snowman in shape. One circle for the head, a circle for the abdomen, and then one for the thorax. Hopefully I'm getting these, these insect terminology correct. He also has a nice little stinger at the bottom and there's striping but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, so of course we're just blocking in our very generalized shapes and now we're just going to add in the wings which are also kind of circular, bit egg-like in shape. Uh, the back ones here are, if you just draw a circle, that works out. Okay, so on this stage, like always, we're just blocking out the rough, big shapes, and then we're going to start adding in some details. And we're going to draw a cone. And this cone is representing uh, Beedrill's little stinger arms that he has. Uh, he's a pretty ferocious bug Pokemon, or he looks pretty ferocious. I'm just roughly drawing out where, like, that like arm positioning there. Uh, if you look at it for his other arm, it would be like that, roughly. Again, we're just going for that very generalized, rough idea of where stuff is rough placement we can add in more details later and really polish this off and so we're going to do the second stinger which is also a nice uh, cylinder or cone rather so we have his two cone hands uh, we need to put in some antenna Antennae. Okay, we're at a stage where it's blocked in enough that we could probably start adding in some nice details. So Beedrill has these big beady bug eyes. Kind of reminiscent of a uh, Kakuna and Butterfree, those little bulgy eyes. We're shaping out the head a little more. He has like a little, almost a snout there. Body. And then we're gonna sketch out his arms. Beedrill's composed of a lot of little details that really add to his overall form and his shape. They give this level of detail that wasn't there before. Which makes our drawing a lot more realistic and interesting looking. He has um, some different kind of patterning on his wings compared to say Butterfree. Overall, it's all just pretty basic. You're just drawing the lines and stuff like that. And so now we're just going to go and uh, flesh out the legs a little more. Nice. 
so we have that leg done. The legs are attached to this torso here. So we're giving them grounding there and then stretching it out. And they're very much insect legs with the different partitions to them. A lot of little details, just pulling everything out. And of course we have these back wings that we have to get. If it helps, feel free to like sketch through so you can see the different forms. Sometimes it helps. Like the sketching phase is your messy phase where adding in all these extra lines is perfectly fine. No one's really going to see your sketch. You make it as, as long as you understand what you're portraying in these lines, that's all that really matters. And if you're able to take what you've drawn out, understand it, and then you're able to ink it or color it, however you're planning on rendering this out, you're able to look at it and at a glance know what's going on. As I was saying, it's for me, your sketch is for you, so I'm just adding in the darkness so I know that these are the stripes. And that's what's going on here. Okay, so I think that's every detail we really need before we go on to the inking phase. Okay, we have the antennae, we have the neat, neat cone shaped. Uh, stinger hands, his stinger at the bottom, nice clear eyes, and his little antenna look pretty good. So I think we're good to go on and start inking this guy. Okay, so we're gonna go and lighten the sketch like we always do. So bring it down enough that we can still see it, but it's not so in your face anymore. And we're gonna start inking him. Okay, now that we have the sketch all inked, we're gonna color it up. And I have a pre-selected palette we're gonna be using. So let's bring that up a little. Okay, now that we have the base coat down, we're gonna work on our shape. Drill is composed of a lot of uh, circular shapes, very rounded figure. So we're going to focus on trying to draw that out. I'm going to put emphasis on his rounded body parts. 
Then we have things like his stingers, which are cone shaped. We've got a little shading. And of course, it's all, you always have to pay attention to the interactions between the different body parts and how they affect each other in terms of shading. Have uh, a bunch of the shadows put in. We're gonna do some highlights. So I think we're pretty done with our coloring, and there we have it. Drill and all his blazing glory here. So, as always, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye.